How's it going, YouTube? It's your Schlitz. Tesla here, bring you a Wi-Fi battle. And yes, I am back to streaming. I did a live stream just now. It went on for about around 10 hours, 10 or 11 hours, but nonetheless, this is a battle that actually took place earlier in the live stream today, and this is against Destin Destroy. Destin Destroy is one of my long-term long -term followers who have followed me since pretty much the beginning when I started live streaming. And he has been asking for a while for me to get a battle between us on YouTube, and well, this is going to be the battle they put up because it was actually very close. And while it's true that we do make some pretty weird mis misclicks and misplays, it still turned out to be a pretty damn close battle, and I'm not ashamed to showcase it, and that's what I'm going to do. On his team, he has Tyranitar. Samurott, Porygon 2, Gengar, Beedrill, and Victini. I have Mega Manetric, Porygon 2, Volcaronus, Landorus, Azumarill, and Skarmory. He has a mixed tier team, and I have my standard. I guess you can call it OU team. May as well call it OU. And yeah, let's get this battle underway. I literally ended the stream off about five minutes ago, so yeah, here we go. My opponent is going to lead off with his Tyranitar. I'm going to lead off with my Mega Manetric. And I make a grave mistake here because I should have known what his stats were because I feast this guy tons of times. His Tyranitar is either mixed or it's special based, so I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution on Manetric and go right for the Volt Switch. Completely forgot, forgetting that he does run a special set on his Tyranitar, so. Getting that to me off, it's actually going to do nothing. I went for the Volt Switch to go into Landorus to get a double intimate off. It's honestly not going to do anything because, again, this is pretty much a special set, apparently. So, yeah, Landorus is going to get the intimate off. You're going to see why this switch was a bad switch on my part. My opponent goes for the Blizzard, and it hits. Yeah, it hits Landorus and KOs it. So that's, that was really bad for me, like right off the bat. My Pokemon already fainted. So I'm going to send out my Play Nice, the Azumarill. I nicknamed all my Pokemon on this team. And then go into Porygon 2, and I go for the Play Rough. Huh? No, I went for the Waterfall, actually. I believe I went for the Waterfall and Chase is pushing the Gengar, but I do hit the Waterfall and. Doesn't do that much because the Volite, both Porygon 2 and Azumarill are going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm. I'm going to withdraw my Azumarill and go into Intelligent with Porygon 2. So I'm going to copy huge cards. Obviously, going to do nothing. His Porygon 2 is going to hit the Thunderbolt. It's going to get hurt by the Sandstorm. And since my Landorus is down, I have nothing. With knockoff to take away that Evil Light. I replaced knockoff with superpower on my Azumarill. So, yeah, Thunder Wave is going to paralyze this Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is going to toxic me. Our Porygon 2s are different. We run three different moves. The only move that we have in common is, of course, Recover, because one Porygon 2 doesn't run Recover. So, Porygon 2 is going to get inflicted by some more poison. Intelligence is going to get withdrawn. And in comes Devathur the Stormery. He went for the Ice Beam, which is a good hit, and I just, I'm just getting Devathur out just to set up some entry hazards to get some free damage on whatever switches in. So I'm gonna, gonna get that Stealth Rocks off. And he goes for, well, I don't know what he went for there. Probably went for Thunderbolt, but he got paralyzed. I'm gonna switch Devathur out and go into. Intelligent to Porygon 2. I'm not sure what I was thinking here. So Porygon 2 is once again going to get paralyzed. Por My Porygon 2 is going to suffer some poison damage. And try attack. I guess I'm just going to try to get some damage off on that Porygon 2. Recover. Like I said, our Porygon 2 share one move in common. That's Recover. That's uh, all Porygon 2's. Should carry. Shut up. Don't argue with me. That's what they should be running. Alright, so then we'll throw his Porygon 2 and go into Gengar. 
should have known this was coming, but I didn't. I went for try attack instead. She went for psychic because, well, at worst he was stayed in with did neutral damage, albeit not much. Now this is interesting. This Venom Shock on his Gengar to partner with his Porygon two. I find that rather interesting. So you poison your, your target with Porygon two, then you do double damage with Venom Shock plus his stab on Gengar. So you can go for the Thunderbolt on my Azumarill. It's going to do almost half, and I go for the Waterfall, which is going to knock out that Gengar. It was better off going for Venom Shock because it's stab, but nonetheless, Azumarill would likely have survived that too. So, he's going to trace huge power. It's not really going to do anything. I'm going to go for Waterfall to try and flinch him, para flinch him. Thunderbolt on Azumarill. I'm praying that doesn't paralyze me. It does not. I'm going to go for Superpower, hoping that KOs for gun 2. But it does not. That evil light. I should know all about it. Porygon 2 is paralyzed. Thankfully, he was paralyzed. I'm not sure if he's going for recover there. He totally did. And I'm going to go for a waterfall here, and that's going to finish off the Porygon 2. Next up comes Samurai. Samurai's going to get hit by stones. I'm going to withdraw Azumarill and go into Sebather the Skarmory. He's going to go for a Grass Knot, despite being special attacking. It does make contact with Skarmory, so Samurai's going to undoubtedly get hurt by the Rocky Helmet. And lose some HP from Life Orb. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. He's going to get hurt by the Life Orb some more. Whirlwind. Uh, Destin Destroy has told me he misclicked in this battle, but I'm not exactly sure where he misclicked. He wasn't really specific. However, his bikini is going to go for the Brick Break and going to do neutral damage. Take out Skarmory, but not before taking some Rocky Helmet damage. I'm going to go into Play Nice, the Azumarill. I'm going to go for Aqua Jet. Doesn't quite take out Vikini, that base 100 defense I believe it has. And Thunder Punch is going to finish off Azumarill. Next out comes Doritos, the Volcarona. Now, here's where I screw up. I go for Quiver Dance, expecting him to switch out. However, he's going to go for the V-Create, and that is going to one-shot my Volcarona. The reason why I went for the, the, the um, Quiver Dance is so I can have a, a special attack boost to take out my Tyranitar and a speed boost to outpace Mega Beedrill. Unfortunately for me, no, that's not to be. I should have just went for Fiery Dance. Alright, Intimidate is going to come off. I'm going to go for that Thunderbolt. I want to say this is about my last Pokemon, so it's Mega Manatrix versus three other Pokemon now. Could be wrong. So Samurai's down. Samurai's going to faint to a Thunderbolt. Next out comes Tyranitar. Tyranitar is going to get the Sand Stream up. And I'm going to hit the Thunderbolt again. I pretty much thought I was going to lose this battle. <clears throat> you get the Parahax. The Parahax doesn't matter in this battle. He's going to get the Stone Edge, and it's going to do a lot of damage to Mega Man X-Ray. So yeah, Thunderbolt is going to finish off that Tyranitar, and now all that's left is his Beedrill. Now he goes for a misplay here, I believe. He's going to send out his Mega Beedrill, and I'm not sure if it's Protect or not, but either way, he's going to go for the Mega Evolution. His Beedrill is first going to take some Stone damage. And, yeah. 
He's going to Mega Evolve, and unfortunately, he doesn't go for the Protect, which means my Mega Manatrix is going to outpace and take his Beedrill out with a Flamethrower. And that is game. Now, if he did go for Protect, I'm not sure if I wouldn't have outstead, because for all I know, his Beedrill could be Adamant Nature, which means my Timid Manatrix would most likely outspeed. But that... That is pretty much the game. So, good game, Destiny Destroy. Very good effort on your part. Thank you for the battle. Thank you to all who watched my battles. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and subscribe to my YouTube. It's great to have your support. And, yeah, keep on supporting. And I'll see you guys next time for another Wi-Fi battle video. And hopefully I'll be getting around and not being so lazy and doing the chanting hunt so I can get my Platinum Let's Play continue. So, yeah. Once again, have a great night, everyone. This is Tesla Mouse signing off. Good night.